Brian. What? I just got word from the DA's office. All the charges against Carl have been dropped for lack of evidence. Oh, that's just swell. Now, look, are you absolutely convinced that it was Carl? Well, it doesn't matter what I think. I'm, I'm not a cop anymore, remember? As far as they're concerned, I'm their one, number one suspect. But, Ryan, the charges against you will be dropped, too, and for the very same reason, there's no evidence. Yeah, well, you know what they say, like father, like son. Look, Ryan, I know that you have to work out all this stuff about Carl. I know it's... Wrong! Not... Carl's not a part of my life. Never will be. But he's a part of your mother's. And we both have to think about that. How can you even think that, Dad? How can you even think about them being together? I don't know. But I'm not going to pretend it didn't happen. Maybe now... I'll, I'll think about it more. I'll learn a little bit about myself and your mother. Well, Ryan, if you ever need to talk. Wait. There's something I've always wanted to ask. Um, what do you think she saw in Carl? I suppose he gave her things that I couldn't or wouldn't. She alluded to some of those things in the letters. <laughs> Which... Carl still has. Now look, Ryan, you're looking in the wrong place for answers that don't mean I anything. just want to know who I am. There's only one way to find out. But the question is, do you have the guts to hear it? It doesn't matter who your father is. No one controls your destiny except you. It's true. Your strengths, your weaknesses, your, your successes, even your failures. They all work to shape the man. Shape the man? What kind of man do you think I'm going to turn out to be? Oh, that's entirely up to you, Ryan. I remade myself after my father died. And while you may not think I did a very good job, I tried my damnedest to be true to myself. I know that you have that in you, son. And I also know that you're not going to make the mistakes that I did. Yeah, well, I've made an awful lot already. Because you're so hard on yourself. You always have been. Well, I don't know. Maybe that's your destiny after all. Your mother would have liked that. What do you mean by that? <sighs> she warned me not to let you grow up like me. And maybe that's why I left you alone all those years. But look what's happened. You're your own man, after all. Why couldn't you have been more honest with me? I was afraid that if I told you the truth, I'd lose you. I couldn't bear that, son. I loved you too much. I never told you that, did I? Not that I remember, no. All you ever got was the discipline and the expensive gifts. I'm so sorry. Well, it doesn't matter now, does it? Oh, yes, it does. It matters very much. I love you, Ryan. And I hope that someday you'll be able to forgive me. Better get that. <clears throat> can I help you? Yeah, if you're Carl Hutchins' son, you can. I got a job for you. It's a Carl specialty. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. But uh, I'm afraid you have me confused with someone else. Carl Hutchins isn't my father. This man here, this is my father. Have you heard from Carl? Yeah, uh, indirectly. He's uh, threatening Vicky and Stephen. 
he wanted. It's all right. I've got it under control. You know Vicky. It makes anything easy. Ryan, I know you still love Vicky. Can't you find some way to forgive her? Could you forgive Mom? I should have. If both of us understood a little bit more about forgiveness and compassion, well, then maybe things would have worked out differently. You still love her? I mean, after everything? I'll love her until the day I die. And I'll bet you still feel the same way about Vicky. But I can't trust her, Dad. And how can you have a marriage without trust? You have to build trust, son. One day at a time. If you really love her, you can start there. Think about it. Well, if you need me, call. This time, I'll be there.